Well, we're back live in Monterey for the 2015 Monterey Open. I'm Laura McCormick with the WRT, and I traded one video for another. Welcome, Andre. We had Jessica Priya on the broadcast earlier today, and now we have Andre who just won in the first quarterfinal of the day against Nikolai Miramontes. Congratulations. Thanks. Hi, everyone. Uh, Andre will be offering his professional commentary here as we get ready for our second quarterfinal of the day. Coming up now on the court, we have Jordi Alonso versus Edson Martinez. Both players from San Francisco. You've trained with them a little bit. Um, what's your What's your take on this match? Uh, I know both of them really good, but I train with Jordi. Mm -hmm. He's a really good player, but also Edson. He trains in another gym from San Luis. And I think he's playing good. Last week he made a semifinals and a stop uh, in there in San Luis Potosí. Mm -hmm. And I think he's playing really, really good. All right. Well, it'll be a super competitive match here, as we like on the WRT. We had a really good draw so far here this weekend, where number one Jake Bredenbeck and number two David Bobby Horn were knocked out. So we're going to go ahead, and they're waiting to mop down the court. So. We're going to kill some time here and chat with the fans. But um, something interesting to note, Edson Martinez actually upset David Bobby Horn to get here to the quarterfinals today. Yeah, like I said, he's playing really good. He's, he's got a, uh, like a quick game. Really quick. He gets a lot of balls. And um, uh, I think Jordi is a like good server. Yeah, his killer serves. serves. Is, his serves really hard. And that's a fact that that will that will I mean that's gonna it, <laughs> it'll sorry. be a big factor yeah, yeah, here yeah. in the match. Yeah, I know you're probably yeah. tired. He needs to get some energy <laughs> after just playing against Nikolai, who's been diving all sorry. over the court, played really well. Um, something else to note too for those of you watching at home, and <laughs> Nikolai showing off his, uh, his skin burn here from all the diving he did in his <laughs> previous match. Um, but something also to note, and Andre, maybe, I don't know if you're aware of this, you are the highest seed uh, who, to make it into the quarterfinals. And only one of the quarterfinalists here so far this weekend has ever won the WRT championship. He happens to be the only American in the quarterfinals. That's Anthony Herrera. All of the other quarterfinalists um, who made it here have never won a championship. So there is a high percentage that someone will win their first championship here this weekend, which I think is really exciting. Yeah, I like that a lot. <laughs> that seems good for you, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, previous Monterey champions include 2013 Gil Mejia and 2014 Polo Gutierrez. So something else interesting to note as well, Polo Gutierrez has been out for the last... Um, gosh, a couple of months now, almost mostly the second half of the year, he's had a bit of, of an injury. He's actually having some surgery to get it fixed, so we hope to see him return in 2016. And Alex Cardona, the number one on the WRT, is also not here this weekend. He has a family commitment that kept him at home. He will be joining us next weekend in San Antonio. We will be there for the Alamo City Open to close out 2015. So kind of an interesting dynamic now with... Um, with Alex Cardona not being here, that gave Jake Bredenbeck a really big opportunity to score some points and potentially become the year-end champion and the new number one. But yeah. unfortunately for him, he got knocked out last night by, by Rodrigo Montoya, who's seated number 16 and will be playing in the quarterfinals coming up uh, at 1 p.m. He'll be playing against Christian Longoria. Yeah, I play him. I play Rodri Rodrigo Montoya like two weeks ago in the Junior Worlds. He beat me in the finals. I think he's playing really good. And last week, uh, he was in a tournament in Chihuahua, and he beat Alex Cardona. That's he right. beat Alvaro, Alvaro Beltran. And in the final, he beat Javier Moreno. So, so he's got confidence. Yeah. Uh, he got a he got a pro of that in this tournament. And he is the current 18 and under junior world champion as well. Yeah. So a really outstanding player, and he'll be really fun to watch. And I think that's what makes the quarterfinals here so far at Monterey Open really exciting is we have a lot of fresh faces and young, hungry players who are yeah, ready. That's so cool. <laughs> ready for their first for their first championship. Looks like they got the court swiped down now, and they're ready to go. So we're going to take yeah, you guys down to the court where we have Jordi Alonso versus Edson Martinez. Jordi Alonso um, seated number 10 here this weekend. Edson Martinez rank, uh, seated number 18. This is going to be a good match. Jordi is a hitting hard player. And Edson, like I said, he gets a lot of balls. 
Yeah, Jordy hits really hard. Definitely known for, for his power and his killer serve, like you said earlier. Um, the last time we saw Martinez was at the San Luis Open. He lost in round 16s against Jake Bredenbeck in a <laughs> tiebreaker situation, 15-9, 15-11-7. Some fierce competition. Oh, I thought that pinch was good. Yeah, I thought so. And there we go, the first point for Edson Martinez. Good down the line, good get by Edson. Cross court. He got a setup. Oh, nice pinch. This is really important when players got setups and they don't make the right shot. That takes you confident away. You gotta you gotta finish the point with those setups. If you don't do that lose the game. Nice pinch. Edson gives Jordi a setup. Like I said, he make he makes a pinch right. Ooh. Good serve. Nice serve. The first ace of the game. There it is, Jordi Alonso. You're talking about those killer serves. There's the first one. Good shot by Edson. Now I wonder, you know, if both players from San Luis, how often do you think these two have trained together or matched up at all? Uh, actually, they don't train together. They're from different gyms. Mm -hmm. But every tournament that we have in San Luis, both of them play. So they have played like maybe three or four times. And what's and that like when you play a player um, who you've matched up against before, is it any different? It, yeah, it's different because it's kind of, for me it's kind of uncomfortable because mm -hmm. you know that he knows what are you going to do. Right, he's but more familiar. Yeah, but you you also know what he's going to do, so it's, it's a, it will be a different match because they know each other. Noah's the other quarterfinals that they don't play really often. Maybe Martel and Anthony, yeah, they have played they have played more times, but the other quarterfinals, they don't play often. Yeah, them. don't really match up. Well, here's 5-3 now for Edson Martinez. Looks like Jordi Alonso is going to go ahead and take a timeout, see if he can recollect himself. Looks like he's going to get some words from a coach we've seen before, Fabian Paria. We'll yeah. be right back with more of our second quarterfinal right after this. We're back live from the 2015 Monterey Open. I'm Laura McCormick with the WRT, and joining me is our future semifinalist here of the Monterey Open, Andre Peria. We have Jordi Alonso, who is also from San Luis and get, being coached here on the sidelines by Fabian Peria. And Edson Martinez, who's had quite a, a week here so far, defeating and upsetting David Bobby Horn, the number two seed last night, 15-14, 15-14, very close match. Yeah. I was not able to watch it, but people from here said that it was a really good match. Yeah, it was a great match. Oh, what and, a pinch. Uh, that timeout got Jordy into the service box, but Edson able to side him out again. a bench but he skipped it really close <laughs> the 
he called that serve skip. It wasn't a skip. It looks like it because it's something weir weird with the front wall. I don't know what happened. When, s when someone hit it really hard, the ball looked like skip, but it, it, but it is not. It's hmm. weird. Yeah, we had um, your sister, Jessica, on during your match, and she was saying that a lot of the players were talking about how the courts are slower. Did you find that to be true as well? Yeah, it is. I think the gearbox black ball, I like it a, a lot, but in here, it seems like really slow. But I like that. Yeah, it kind of yeah. a different element right, to your game. And we were talking about the sidewall glass that we have here here at Alpino Chipinque. It's a bit of um, an indoor-outdoor type facility. So we're a little <laughs> because we don't get any of the sunshine in here. And along that side glass wall, what ends up happening is the sun is changing, so you get a lot of glare, and it changes all throughout the day. And then by night, it's super dark. So being able to adjust to finding that gearbox black ball against the glass in all those different changing lights uh, has proven to be difficult here this week. Nice cross court by Edson. You already couldn't get that. Edson with a lob serve. service working for him. Dirty it's dirty one to kill every every lobster and he's not able to do that. There's some great shots here from Martinez giving him the lead against Jordi Alonso. Jordi yeah. looking off court there to his coach for some tips. Tough. It can happen even on the lob, huh? What a cross court with the side wall. And Jordi, a, a pretty tall player. Would you say he's taller than the average racquetball player? Yeah, yeah, he is. He gets to a lot of balls and he moves well for being a taller player. And it happened again. The yeah the I think it wasn't a skip, but it like I said it looks like it so the ref gotta call it. That's so weird. Now big skip. Now I feel like Jordy's body language right now, we don't normally see too much expression from him, but he he looks like he's feeling some of the pressure and he knows like he's not playing up to his game right now. So let's see if he can switch that around. Yeah, before the game I was talking with him and he was telling me that he haven't made a semifinal yet and he's really excited because he won't make it. Yeah, this is a good opportunity for him to make it to a semifinal. go a point for Jordy he was expecting to play with David Horn but as we saw yesterday Edson beat him yeah that was a tight match 15-14 so gives him a setup good pinch by Jordy score is I think it's 7-7 seven, seven. I'm not sure I think the ref just said it was time. Another big serve. Another pinch by Jordy. Capitalizes on another setup. Looks like he's getting some of that confidence back, and Edson Martinez wants to take it right away, so we've got the timeout. We'll be back with more of our second quarterfinal here at the Matre Open just after this.
are back live here at the 2015 <laughs> Open, where Jordi Alonso just took the lead 8-7 over Edson Martinez, forcing Edson to call that timeout and see if he can break Jordi's newfound momentum here. Coming up after this, there is more of the WRT quarterfinals. We have Anthony Herrera versus Jaime Martel, and then right after that, Christian Longoria versus Rodrigo Montoya. So some really interesting <laughs> Jordi. Jordi coming back from 6-3. Now he's up 8-7. Yeah, and earlier on the broadcast when we had Jessica on, she was talking about the probability there uh, when you call the timeout that it goes your way and you get back yeah. in the service box. And so far we've seen that here in this match. It just worked for Edson and previously it worked for Jordi. Yeah, when you take a timeout, you got a good probability to, to make the, the point. Yeah. He's going to go for the drive serve again. <laughs> now skip Ooh, from skip. Edson. He has gotten one ace off it so far this game as well. 9-7. <laughs> and another Ooh. good serve. Yeah, it was an ace, right? I would, I would call that an ace. That's two aces now for Jordi Alonso. 10-7. Edson looking really comfortable there in the center of the core, like found his control again on that shot. Every time he looks the spot for the down the line, he's gonna take it. He's gonna take it. He's a down the line shooter, and and it works for him. Short serve. Last shot from Edson. Egg serving 10. Nice reach. And then just out of just out of reach there for him and giving Alonzo the side out. Interesting. It's such a tight game, but these both players are really calm. They are calm. Set up for Edson, but he didn't make it, and Jordy escapes it. Nice flat shot. That lob serve is, is working for him. He's trying to, to make it bounce as close as the short line as possible uh, for to make Jordy hard to cut it off. Okay, so that kind of explains why some yeah. of those lob serves are falling short. Yeah. It's such an interesting strategy because when I first started watching racquetball, I thought the lob serves seemed so easy. It's such an easy return, but there's a lot of strategy behind exactly. it. Exactly. And another splash oh. shot. That should tie up the score right now. 10-10 in game one. Edson Martinez serving. Jordi Alonso calling the timeout, seeing if he can take the probability that he will get the side out after the timeout. We'll be we'll right see. back and we'll see after this.
And we're back live at the 2015 Monterrey Open where we have Edson Martinez tying it up here in game one, 10-10 against Jordi Alonso, forcing him to call that timeout. It's a really close match. Edson was up 6 then Jordi come back like 7-6. Yep. And then 10-7 for Jordi, and now, now we're 10-10. Really close competition from these two San Luis players. This is like the Red Sun after the 10. This is the Red Sun every single game. My dad always says, says it. Ooh. Good down the line. That's why Edson, that's why Edson is trying to, to make the ball bounce as close as a short line. Because if he do, doesn't, that's what happens. And Jordy's gonna roll out like yeah. that. Good serve. Another killer serve from Alonzo. Two bounces. It makes it 12 10. This is getting, getting interesting. Yeah, looking pretty good for Jordi Alonzo, who is hungry for his first semifinal here with the WRT. He has made a couple uh, quarterfinals here before. Another great serve. Three quick points in a row for Alonso after that timeout. We're just uh, proving statistics here with that and <laughs> calling the timeout. What Edson has to do is, instead of trying to make a, a killer shot, returning that serve, he just got to go for a serve. <laughs> He's not going to be able to kill the ball with those serves. Those serves are really good. So you better go for the ceiling. He has to go for the setting. If he doesn't do that, he's gonna lose. Ooh, just out of reach for Alonzo. 10-13, first game. Let's see what Edson can do. And there he goes with a point. Eleven thirteen. And really it's only close. game one, yeah. <laughs> oh, big skip. That was an important setup. Yeah, I feel like we've seen a, a lot of skips from Jordy so far here in this game. That's why he haven't taken the lead. He's Gonna go ahead and call a timeout. See if we can re-strategize here against Edson Martinez, who's now down by one in game one. We'll be right back with more of Martinez versus Alonso. And we're back live now where Edson Martinez is firing off the serve against Jordi Alonso. He switched it up now to the drive serve. That high lob has been working for him so far in game one against Alonso. A lot of ceiling balls. Four ceilings in a row. <laughs> Strategy. Yeah, we've seen that strategy a couple times now from Martinez, and it just squeaks by Alonso, who makes a great effort running across the side. Fast serve by Edson. Jordi Alonso. 
that's going to give him the side out. Edson Martinez, no stranger to pressure either, as last night he went 15-14, 15-14 against David Bobby Horn to get here today. And another short serve. Jordy, the prince of lot in his serve. So if, if his serve doesn't go as he wanted to go, his game goes. It's not that as way good. too. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Ooh, nice cross court from Alonzo. 13 13. The what pressure is on here in game one. A pretty evenly matched two players from San Luis. Jordi Alonzo seated number 10 here this weekend. Edson Martinez, number 18. <laughs> And again, that shot just passed Alonzo. Now both these players, if they, whoever wins today, will move on to their first semifinal ever with the WRT. And they will be matching up against Andre Feria, who is here with me on the mic. That'll be at 5 p.m. this evening. Oh, what a great cross court. I don't know why Edson is trying to do that dry serve without hitting the ball really hard. It makes it easier for Jordy. Jordy with his dry serve again. <laughs> Working really well. Definitely a hard serve. Oh, what a great <laughs> kill shot. It's fun to see those work out like that. <laughs> That's going to be the first game point opportunity for Jordi Alonso. 14 13. First game point. Short serve. Nothing like building the pressure here on the second serve. Switches it up. Got the ball. He did. That was so close. Well, and with that, Jordi Alonso wins game one 15 13. We'll be back with more from Alonso versus Edson Martinez in game two right after this. We're back live at the 2015 Monterey Open where we have Edson Martinez serving against Jordi Alonso. Alonso skipping, giving Martinez the first point of game two. Jordi winning game one 15-13 after tying it up several times. What can happen here in game two? Two quick points for Martinez opening up game two. Yeah, good cross court from the, from the back of the court. We will get another serve. I don't know what Martinez did in between matches there, uh, excuse me, in between games, but he's coming out on fire in game two. Yeah, he's killing shots from the back of the court. And that's one of the hardest things to do in rugby. Look again. Yeah, looking really comfortable out there now with a 5-0 lead over Alonzo. Again, forcing him to take that timeout because that's not how you want to open up after winning game one. So we'll be back to see if Edson Martinez can keep the pressure on Jordi Alonso in game two.
And we're back live here at the 2015 Monterey Open. Jordi Alonso calling that timeout. Let's see if he can side out Edson Martinez, who's had a five point run here to open the And another point, six on a row, so six zero. So far that rare occurrence where the timeout didn't go Jordi's way. Edson Martinez really on point right now. Edson just looking really comfortable, like every shot and the way he ends it, like he just knows yeah, it's going to end or something. And he's not hitting hard. Yeah, exactly. So, the, so we were talking about the, that the ball doesn't bounce a lot. He's like slow. It's it starting is to like, work Yeah, it's slow. Him. The ball is slow. So hitting like that, the ball doesn't come out of the front wall. It's a different speed. There's Alonzo now with the side out. Let's see what he can do against Edson's control of the game here. A zero seven. Oh, oh. missed that shot and a glass wall. Side out, 7-0. And a big skip. <laughs> a big skip there for Martinez. Another side out opportunity. Alonso still with zero in game two. First skip for Edson in the second game. down the line shot right where he wanted it to go oh there's an encroachment call there our referee Nikolai Miramontes who played in the first quarter final today against Andre Feria now the winner of this quarterfinal here right now between Edson Martinez and Jordi Alonso will continue on to the semifinals tonight at 5 p.m. Central Time against Andre Feria. Coming up after this, there is lots more racquetball. We have two more quarterfinals, Anthony Herrera versus Jaime Martel, and then Christian Longoria versus Rodrigo Montoya. And then, of course, we'll be back later this evening at 5 and 6 p.m. Son. He's winning with though that kind of shots. He is, yeah. It's not about power, and uh, I think that's something we also saw in your match against Nikolai Miramontes. Nico um, definitely going for power and really trying to keep that fast game going, and you gaining that control and and making it about shots, <laughs> mixing up the shots, and not really being readable by your opponent. Yeah, well people, played. people usually tell me tell me that that I'm a, like a changing speed player. Yes. We were talking about that as we watched you, and you even had that one fake out there. <laughs> it, it wasn't a fake shot. I, I really tried you to. You really swung yeah. at it? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> well, we gave you too much credit that on the broadcast you gave yourself away. <laughs> I mean, what can you do with that, really? Cross guard from Madsen and Jordi ends the rally with a pinch.
That place is where it's where you don't want Jordy to be. He's a like forehand killer. Yeah, you don't want to give him any setup. You know? Look, another touch. All the soft touches there from from Edson Martinez. It's crazy. Yeah, his his shots are good. Plus, Jordy is letting him shoot those balls in the front of the court. It's really starting to frustrate Alonso too. Again, we keep seeing that that pass there from from Edson Martinez, and it goes just out of Jordy's reach. It, I think he's starting to realize it's going there, and he still isn't getting there in time. I think that kind of game is working for Edson because Jordi is not a fast player going to the front. He moves good to the to the sides and maybe mm -hmm. to the back, but to the front he's a little bit slower. Something I'm sure you're noting uh, if you end up playing Jordi Alonso in the semis tonight. Yeah. <laughs> Taking your mental notes here. <laughs> there from Alonzo keeps Edson moving from corner to corner. Yeah, he went to the, he went for the down the line after cross court shot by Edson. That's a smart shot. Healthy shot, like American people say. Healthy shot. <laughs> yeah. Good pinch by Edson after that drive serve. Now the drive serve is not working for Jordi. Yeah, and you were saying that's a big part of his game right there is his drive. Another good cross court. Edson playing smart now, really smart. Doing the right shout every setup. There's the timeout again from Jordi Alonso as Edson Martinez playing a lot of the touch game here in game two. We'll be right back with more right after this. And we're back live in game two of our second quarterfinal of the day between Edson Martinez in the lead now, 10-2 over Jordi Alonso. Yeah, big lead, playing smart, doing the right shots, have, having setups and not giving setups to Jordi. Yeah, he really seemed to switch up his game here for game two. Yeah, a lot. Yeah, that was different. He, he, he's, now, he's playing like a lot different uh, compared to the first game. You already gotta do something. Uh, maybe change his drive serve because it is not working now. Maybe just for a couple points. Yeah, just to find like a different rhythm there for Jordy. Yeah, racquetball is all about rhythm, all about different speeds. Yeah, we see that a lot in your game. <laughs> That's how I like switching it up. Yeah, you switch up your serve, switch up, you know, power and strategy to keep your opponent on the toes. And you'll be playing the winner of this match here today. That's the semifinals coming up at 5 p.m. Central Time tonight. He wanted to go for the reverse pinch and skip it, but I think that was a good shot. I mean, the he chose the right shot. He didn't make it well, didn't but make it, but it was the right, yeah. right idea. Cutting the ball. Good pinch from the back of the court. There's Coming from the back wall. There's a point for Jordi Alonso. It's one at a time. 311. Like I said, he changed his serve. That works for short him. Short serve. Nice oh, I saw it short. Another setup 
Bradson, but he didn't make it. There's two in a row for Alonzo. Set up there for Edson. He's able to capitalize and side out Alonzo. All right, people are starting to wake up and filter in here on a Saturday morning in Monterrey, Mexico. We are live from Alpino Chipinque. A cold morning here. It is a little cold. It's keeping us awake, though. <laughs> Great cross court. Edson was shooting a lot of pinches, so that makes Jordy uh, be like two or three steps in the front. And now he went for the cross court. Another smart shot, shot for, from him. Yeah, he's playing really smart here in game two. 11 4, big lead. Short, short serve. serve. Yeah, we had a tough draw and a lot of long matches here last night. If you guys want to check out the draw at home, you can go to bit.ly backslash MTY 2015. It was almost 1 o'clock in the morning last night playing record. Long days. Long days, a lot of matches, and we're back here uh, pretty early then on the Saturday. So Long, but fun. Long and fun. Keeps the intensity high over the weekend as well. Good reverse pinch. Jordy went for the setup. I mean, went for the cross court. But it was short, and it gave uh, Edson a setup, and he kills it with the reverse pinch. Another smart shot. He's playing really good now. He changes a lot. Yeah, uh, interesting how he adapted to Alonzo yeah. now to come back in game two, and in his first game point opportunity in game two. Right now. Good guess. Calls a skip. There's a side out then for Jordi Alonso. I think it was good. <laughs> That's got to be frustrating uh, <laughs> on your game point. Potentially sending us to breaker here in game two, but now Jordi Alonso holding Edson Martinez off. Drives over again. <laughs> Pinches the ball. That's a good shot. Healthy shot. There we go. Another point for Jordi Alonso. 514. Serve from Alonso. Good serve. Turning that serve back on. Gives him six. Yeah, finishing the rally with the down the line. Down the line shot is one of the most important shots. If you use it right, we're gonna have a lot of points with it. Yeah, it looks like he's really starting to gain here on Alonzo, uh, excuse me, on Martinez. Alonzo now with four points in a row. Now he's taking a timeout to break the uh, Jordy's rhythm. Let's see if he will be effective after this word from our sponsors. And we're back live where Jordi Alonso just served a second serve against Edson Martinez after Martinez calling that timeout. And 
another great pinch. Oh, I saw it good. Uh, yeah, it was good. Oh, ref sees it good. Edson saw it skip, but it was a really good shot. Amazing how the momentum can change so quickly here in game two. We saw Edson Martinez really dominating uh, over Alonzo, and now Alonzo, like you said, when he that killer serve is on, it really, it really starts to play into his game. Yeah, it works a lot. Short serve. You gotta go for the lob now. Great shot selection and from going, Jordy. Yeah, going for the down the line after the cross court. Those down the lines after the cross court works really well because the other player is uh, back the court. So he's not Ooh. able to get a big skip by Jordy, and that was an important rally. That was a 10-14. All right, Edson Martinez now with his second game point. Ooh, and a big skip from Edson from the back of the court. Edson knows he got lucky. That was a good get and a good shot. Here we go, third game point opportunity for Edson Martinez. If he can close out game two, that means we're going to breaker. Remember here on the WRT, we do play best two out of three with the breaker to 11. Rollout bench. What a way to end game two, and that means we're going to tiebreaker here in our second quarterfinal of the Monterey Open between Jordi Alonso and Edson Martinez. Don't go anywhere. We have more of this exciting quarterfinal right after this. And we're back live here at the 2015 Monterey Open from Alpino Chipinque. Yeah, we're gonna have a, a super interesting tiebreaker between two players from San Luis Potosí, Edson Martinez and Jordi Alonso. Jordi Alonso winning the first game really tight, and Edson taking a big leg uh, in the beginning of the second game. Anything can happen here in game three. It's first to 11. And the back didn't work out there for Edson. And the first point goes to Alonzo. He could stop that ball and it would have been unavoidable, maybe. Uh, we have just seen that shot time and time again here from Edson Martinez. And just out of reach, Jordi Alonzo, there's the side Yeah, out. that's why it's working really good for him without hitting hard. Yeah, that's really been the key for Martinez in game two, giving him the win. Oh, big.
big skip from Jordi at the front of the court. We just set up. Oh, that was an important rally. Shot. He shot it perfectly, and it was a right shot. Hey everybody, Anthony with Gearbox. Have you ever wondered when or why you should get your racket restrung? What signs to look for? Well, I'm here to shed some. Edson, get it. Yeah, he gets to a lot of those balls. And uh, I mean, obviously that one fell pretty short, but nice effort there from Edson Martinez. Perfect flat from Jordi, making and scoring another point, 2-1. What a serve. Oh. oh, ref calls it no good. Come on, ref. <laughs> Big skip there from Edson. I guess that's that uh, racquetball karma, right? Yeah. <laughs> and now Alonzo in the lead. Three. Calling it. Screen. Screen, screen serve. Screen serve? Yeah. Screen. Jordy had a setup, super comfortable setup. And he went for the pinch, but really high. So, so on that, is it a matter of like shot selection that, or it, the way that he tried to hit it? The way that he tried to hit it, but it because it was really high. It was the right shot, but he shot it really bad. from Edson, just out of reach for Alonzo. Now the winner of this match will be going to their first ever semifinal, whether it's Edson Martinez or Jordi Alonzo, they will be facing off against Andre Padilla, who is here with me on the mic. That's tonight at 5 p.m. Central Time. And coming up after this, we have Anthony Herrera versus Jaime Martel. And then our last quarterfinal of the day features two junior world champions. Current 16 and under junior world champion Christian Longoria against current junior world champion 18 and under Rodrigo Montoya. Who is really confident because like we like we said, he, he had a lot of upset in the last two weeks. Right. Upset. Alvaro will come. Uh, Javier Moreno, Javier Moreno, Alex Cardona, and, and yesterday, Jake Bredenbeck. Yeah. yeah, yesterday Jake Bredenbeck. So taking out some some big names in racquetball. <laughs> Good flat from Jordi. Edson wasn't able to get it. Edson's been using that splat shot against Alonzo, and Alonzo was able to give him a taste of his own medicine. For a point, that puts Alonzo in the lead now. 4-3. Four three. Three, two point lead for Jordi. And he's taking a time out to break his rhythm. 
Yep, with this third game only going to 11, it's probably a good time to call a timeout. We'll be right back with more. Stick around. There's more of this quarterfinal. And we're back live from Alpino Chipinque in Monterrey, Mexico. We have Jordi Alonso taking the lead now in game three over Edson Martinez. 5-3. Edson getting a lot of balls. Giving a lot of setups to Jordi here in the tiebreaker. So Jordi was able to kill some shots and that's why he's leading out. from the back of the court. Keeping it pretty tight and competitive here in game three. Edson wanted the screen, but the ref didn't give it to him. So Jordi, Jordi, yeah, Jordi, Jordi Agri for the replay. Good sportsmanship there from Alonso. It's a side out. Yeah. Three, five. <laughs> I don't know how that worked out for Alonso <laughs> since it gave Martinez the side out. Nice shot again from the back of the court for Edson Martinez. Yeah, it was a weird shot because I think he wanted to go for the splat, but that ball uh, just went in the way for the down the line. And with that, these guys are going to take a quick timeout. We'll be right back as it's 5-4 in game three. Here we go, Edson Martinez, four serving five against Jordi Alonso in our tiebreaker of our second quarterfinal of the Monterrey Open. shot from Edson Martinez. A lot of power behind that. We saw game two, a lot more touch touches from him and some power now in game three. Good pinch. Every time Edson shots uh, down the line after uh, Jordi's pinch, he's going to win the rally because Jordi is always expecting him to shut a cross court after that or another pinch, but never. He never expects a good down the line shot. And it's hard to see because when, when you shoot the, the down the line after the pinch, your body, like, Another touch. Yeah, it's just funny with the way the way it just looks when he hits that. You know, like you would almost think that the play stopped or something, but he just hits it so gently. Doesn't matter if you hit it hard or or how do you say it? Softer. Yeah, like softer or harder. If you kill the ball, it will work. Kill is a kill, no matter what, huh? Point. Yeah, well, Martinez is killing it right now. Game two, eight five. Excuse me, game three. Remember, this game is only to 11. Edson Martinez getting really close. 
coming up right after this, we have Anthony Herrera, the only American in the quarterfinals and the only player who's ever won a championship will be playing against Jaime Martel coming up right after this. That's 9-5. That's a big lead. That's tough, Alonso. Feeling the pressure. Calling the timeout as Martinez is two away from taking this match and sending himself to the semis. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Find out if Martinez can close out against Alonso. And we're back in game three where Jordi Alonso has called the timeout against Edson Martinez, who is winning 9-5 in our breaker. Don't go anywhere, folks, because there's lots more racquetball here this weekend as we're live from El Pino Chipinque in Monterrey, Mexico. Coming up after this, we have Anthony Herrera versus Jaime Martel. The last quarterfinal will feature Christian Longoria and Rodrigo Montoya. Then we'll be back tonight at 5 and 6 p.m. Central Time for the semis. And of course, tomorrow at 12 p.m. Central Time, we will have the finals, which we will be broadcasting live as well. And there's a really good chance that one of our quarter finalists will win their first ever WRT title, as Anthony Herrera is the only quarter finalist who's ever won a WRT championship. And that was back in 2013 in Matamoros. So. Two Very big opportunity here for these players. Here we go, Martinez. Away. Ooh, this is gonna make it now. Match point. Ref's calling it good. Under that kind of pressure, Alonso's gonna come out and talk to the ref. The way that the ball bounced out after it touched the front wall was kind of weird. It looked weird. This is the first match point now for Edson Martinez. 10-5. Going for the ceiling. Have a setup. Makes it 11-5. He's the second semifinalist. He's gonna play me. <laughs> <laughs> Andre Faria, thank you so much for joining me on the broadcast. We'll see you later tonight at 5 p.m. for the semis. It was a pleasure, Laura. Thank you. And that means Edson Martinez will now be playing in his first semifinal here today after a great match against Jordi Alonso, sending it to breaker, winning 11-5. Of course, we'd like to thank you all for watching and don't go anywhere because coming up next, Anthony Herrera, the only American in the quarterfinals here against Jaime Martel, number four versus number five. We'll be back with more live from Monterrey in 10 minutes.